Welcome to the Mod Sidecar Assembly Guide, and congratulations on getting your new Mod Easy and Sidecar. Today, we'll take you through the step-by-step -step process of unpacking and assembling your sidecar so you can start enjoying rides in no time. Let's start by unboxing your Mod Sidecar. Carefully remove the plastic straps and cut the tape to open the top of the box, which is either stapled or taped shut. Take out all the contents of the box, including the sidecar boat, sidecar wheel, fender, sidecar plate, and a black pouch with all parts needed for assembly. You should find a black pouch with U-bolts, a seat belt, an axle, metal spacers, nuts, bolts, sidecar attachment pins, a leveling arm and quick release sidecar pins. We also provided you with some tools that should be helpful during assembly. First off, locate your sidecar frame and place it on a raised surface. For this, we recommend using the sidecar box. Install the axle provided by placing it in the middle hole on the frame. Then place a large nut on the other side of the axle and secure it to the frame using a 21 millimeter wrench. Next, we are going to install the mod boat on the sidecar frame. Take your mod boat and place it on the frame ensuring the axle is on the right side. Align the front two holes in the sidecar with the front two holes on the frame and place a rubber spacer between the sidecar and the frame ensuring it is aligned with both the mod boat and sidecar frame. Next, take a bolt and attach a D-ring a large metal spacer before threading the bolt through the front left hole on the mod boat and sidecar frame. Ensure your bolt goes through the rubber spacer. Attach a smaller metal spacer and a nut and tighten loosely. Repeat the steps with the front right hole, ensuring to tighten the nut loosely. Next, we will align the rear two holes with the sidecar frame for attachment. Place rubber spacers between the mod boat and sidecar frame. Then, take a bolt and place the seat belt buckle and a large metal spacer before threading it through the rear right hole and attaching a small metal spacer and nut on the other side and tighten loosely. Take a bolt and place the seat belt receiver and a large metal spacer before threading it through the rear left hole, ensuring the bolt passes through the rubber spacer. Attach a small metal spacer and nut and tighten loosely. Now, we will align the middle two holes with the sidecar frame for attachment. Place rubber spacers between the middle left hole mod boat and sidecar frame. Then, take a bolt and place a large metal spacer before threading it through the middle left hole, ensuring the bolt passes through the rubber spacer. Next, Attach a small metal spacer and nut and tighten loosely. Repeat the steps for the middle right hole, ensuring to tighten the nut loosely. Once you have attached the mod boat to the sidecar frame with all six bolts, we will tighten them using a 13 mm wrench to hold the nut in place and tighten the bolts inside the sidecar with a 13 mm wrench. Now it's time to install the fender. Start off by removing the rear fender bolts with a Phillips screwdriver. Then remove the front fender spacer and bolt with a hash 4 Allen key. Place the fender on the sidecar frame and install the rear bolts. Then place the front bolt and spacer and tighten. Next, we will install the sidecar wheel on the frame. For this step, we recommend you move your sidecar to the edge of your working surface so you have ample room to install the sidecar wheel. Take your wheel and place it on the axle with the protruded axle side facing the sidecar. Then place the wheel cap on the wheel and tighten with a 6 mm wrench. Next, 
we will install your seat. With the seat belt detached and moved aside, place the seat in the mod boat and press down so all suction cups settle into place. Then reattach the seat belt and place the carpet with the narrower end going towards the front of the sidecar. To install the leveling arm, start with the attachment screw and pin undone. Then take the leveling arm and align its holes with that of the top attachment bracket. Place the pin through the holes of the leveling arm and attachment bracket and attach the screw on the other end. Tighten the screw with a 5mm Allen key while holding the other end in place with a 5mm Allen key. Then, we will install the sidecar plate to your mod easy. Starting with the top right holes, attach a black spacer to the seat stay on the drivetrain side using a U-bolt and then attach your sidecar plate. Next, place a washer and nut on the other end of the U-bolt and tighten loosely. Repeat the steps for all corners using a black spacer for only the top and bottom left right holes. The top and bottom left holes do not need a black spacer. Remember to tighten all nuts loosely. Ensure the derailleur cable is not being pinched by the sidecar plate. Once the sidecar plate has been attached, it's time to tighten the nuts with a 13 mm wrench. Do not tighten each nut all the way, but instead with a few turns on all the nuts at the same time. Tightening one nut all the way without tightening the others can cause damage to the sidecar attachment plate. Next, we will attach the sidecar to the Mod Easy. First, place your Mod Easy on its kickstand to make the process easier. Then, with the help of a friend, pick the sidecar up from its front and roll it into place beside the sidecar. Take the sidecar attachment pins and thread them through the sidecar attachment bracket starting with the bottom ones. Then thread the attachment pin through the top sidecar attachment bracket and through the leveling arms. If the leveling arm is too short, you will need to extend it by rotating counterclockwise. Next, we will install caps on the other end of the attachment pins and tighten the pin by turning clockwise and locking it into place. To make it easier to tighten, all pins come with a hatch that allows you to execute half turns. Once your sidecar is attached, check from the rear to see if the sidecar and Mod Easy are level. If the Mod Easy is leaning to the left or right, you may need to level it. Failure to do so might result in damage to your Mod Easy and sidecar. Leveling can be done by increasing or reducing the length of the leveling arm. Our Mod Easy is leaning away from the sidecar, so we will need to shorten the leveling arm with the stoppers on both ends of the leveling arm loose. Use an adjustable wrench to shorten the leveling arm by turning counterclockwise until your Mod Easy and sidecar are level. Once you have confirmed they are level, lock the stoppers on the top and bottom of the leveling arm. That concludes our assembly guide for the Mod Sidecar. Remember to inflate the tire to the correct PSI as indicated on the sidewall for optimal performance and safety. Lastly, prioritize safety by wearing a snug-fitting helmet with the chin strap securely fastened at all times while riding your easy sidecar. If you need further assistance or have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us. Thanks for watching.